I picked up that I found was this cottage style Better Homes and Gardens book. It's so adorable. It was just a dollar. It has such quaint um, little pictures in there, color palettes. It's just something I would love to have on my coffee table and I have really am excited about this little score that I found for a dollar. All right, the next item I found is this beautiful painting or picture, I'm not really sure. Um, I was debating on this one or another one that was a lot bigger, so I did decide to go with this one. I thought it would be really pretty for spring decor with those um, pastel colors, and it was just a dollar as well. And I'm not a huge fan of the wood frame, but actually, you know, that's very cottage style and I have the lighter color, so I really like this photo. All right, I was excited to see this crock. Uh, the lid is cracked, but it says antique canning crock made in um, 1901, and I got it for $7. It had eight on there. It's cool that it has this little piece on here still. It does open. Um, I don't know, I collect Crocs uh, and pictures, so I thought this would be a fun thing to add to my collection or use for utensils or something like that, but just fun to have that. Okay, my next find is this frame mirror. It's like a window frame. You can see that there. Um, and it was $4 originally, but I got it for three. So excited about this um, because I'm going to actually use it on our little fixture for cottage. I'll hang it above our bathroom. We don't have a big headspace in our little cottage. It's like a six foot tall cottage um, ceiling. And so I needed something that was narrower and this was only 18 inches, which was perfect. I originally saw a really antique 1900 um, vintage mirror that I wanted to use, but it was too long. And so I've been searching for a mirror and this will be probably just temporary for now, but I really think that will fit the space well enough to put our sconces on the side um, and have enough space between the faucet and the ceiling. So $3 for this mirror. Okay, the next item is this picture behind me. I already filled it with some flowers I picked up at Walmart as well, but it was not from that flea market antique shop. It was from a different consignment store that I will never go to again. I paid, <laughs> I paid $4.25 for this um, and looking through everything else, like this could be vintage, it has nothing on the bottom, but um, it's really adorable and cute. So like for this, I didn't feel bad, but Shoes were over $30 and clothes, nothing was less than 10 to 15 and so probably not a store I will ever go back to because it didn't seem like a thrifty consignment store, it seemed more like a department store. But this I thought I couldn't pass up an old picture or looking like an old picture, it may not be. Okay, the next two items were larger pieces. So excited to find these. I found a wooden and white stool for $3, and I thought it'd be great to put a little plant on to set in a corner, um, use it over at our little place. I just knew there were many places I could use it for, and so I was excited to find that for just $3. And then this old vintage wooden chair was $3 as well. That's what I got it for anyways. So excited to find this. It definitely is a little wobbly, but it will be so cute in our house, in um, a little corner, in our entryway, just somewhere because I love the look of it. I am so excited to have found that chair and the stool. Bigger pieces for $3 really. I can't not pass that up. So I think, yeah, I think that covers it. I was looking for some more linen, some other things too, and prices were so great at that flea market. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. Give it a thumbs up. And I would love to have you subscribe if you've been watching for a while, but I just haven't clicked that red button. So hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day. I will talk with you in my next video next week.